Hi, Wes. They had a pretty large advantage in points in the paint. What do you attribute that to? Uh, a handful of that was transition. Um, you know, I think we had a little issue uh, keeping the ball in front at times. And I thought early, too many uh, coverage mistakes, you know, just simple things that are preventable, controllable, um, and whether it's a lack of communication or late to communicate. But I think that kind of created some of those opportunities. The last three games, you guys had averaged somewhere around 100 points. You broke out tonight for 128 against a good defense. What mm -hmm. was different tonight on offense? Well, I just thought we had a pretty good tempo, um, ball movement. I think we were spacing a little better, uh, making quicker decisions, you know, attacking. And as soon as we you know, commit another body, get off the ball, uh, we were well organized. So I thought there was a lot of progress there offensively. There were some good stretches you know, defensively, but just you know, not quite. Uh, those stretches weren't quite long enough. Wes, you talked about the shooting um, pregame. How much of that contributes to they, no, were, it does. they were never up for, they were never in double digits. Hang in there. Now you don't have feels. The margin <laughs> was never in double digits for that long. Their lead wasn't that big for yeah. that long stretch. But can they live in those margins when they're shooting that well? Is it just harder to climb much the harder. hole when they're Yeah, it's just much harder. Thank and, you. Uh, that's just the game, though. I mean, you know, sometimes they'll, teams will make great shots versus great defense um, and can you weather that storm you know and get over that hump you got to keep pace obviously offensively you know make enough plays to stay within striking distance and then get stops finish possessions with rebounds when you can something we talked about a lot in Cleveland too but what did you make of their disposition tonight how would you describe it I guess it was pretty good yeah I thought you know it's um, I thought we were you know ready to go and you know, had the energy and you know, I thought we played well enough. You know, like I said, we cut down on some of those other marginal areas. I think we'd, we'd be okay. Wes, in the in the moments when Bilal was guarding SGA, how did Bilal do? At times, well. You know, and I think that's you know a lesson, another you know difficult lesson to guard a guy like that who's high usage. Um, he's going to be in a ton of ISOs, a ton of pick and rolls. Uh, very crafty. He's able to. Uh, you know, use his body and create contact, get fouls. Um, of just trying to be his, you know, in the right spot and, and be disciplined with uh, technique, just to minimize the fouling. You know, that's that's a tough lesson for anyone, and he's a he's a handful to guard. Uh, Jordan was rolling in the third with 15 points. Did uh, what prompted you to sit him, in, or not go with him in the first eight minutes of the fourth quarter? Well, I didn't want to run him too long. You know, I think he, he was going and played him a little longer than a normal stretch. I knew I was going to go back to him. Um, that, that group I had out there made a little, little bit of a push. Um, so I liked that group. And that's why I, you know, I brought him back late. Then you, you know, kind of playing offense, defense, mix and match, get him in, Denny out, BC in. So you had time to uh, play offense, defense with the free throws. Uh, but that's uh, just more game flow than anything. You know, it was good to see him get it going during that stretch. Following up on Josh's first question about the defense on SGA, um, he finished with 32 points, but that's right at his season average, yeah. um, not just for Bilal specifically, but how do you think the defense did on him in general, and then especially Denny, who kind of got the starting nod on him? Oh, I think at times good. It could have been better, and I think that goes back to the point. It's it's difficult to guard him. He's He's got a little bit of burst. He's got you know craftiness. He's a little shifty, you know, a guy with size, and he's strong enough to create angles and, and get downhill. The, the difficulty with that is the amount of shooting that they surround him with. And, you know, you commit to the ball, it opens up the three. And those guys shoot it, of course, at such a high clip. Um, I think that does kind of get you stretched at times. I mean, you're just committing to showing shrinks and uh, presenting yourself behind the ball, I think, would help. Um, but it does oftentimes open up the three. And then um, after the first quarter especially, you guys kind of went in and out of the zone quite a bit. What did you see um, from the zone defense that you liked? Uh, it started off really well. And I think they tried. They, they kind of figured it out a little bit, found some of the holes. Um, and then I think they, they brought in another small. And you know, I think Isaiah Joe came in. Another guy who can stretch the defense, put pressure on you that way. It's tougher to stay in the zone. Uh, but overall, I thought the zone was decent. I think this is your first time seeing Holmgren in a regular season game. What what are your impressions of that? It's very of unique. That, the, <laughs> very unique skill set, you know, for a guy um, with his length and size. And still, obviously, he can shoot, shooting just under 40 on the year from three. But his ability to, you know, put it on the floor 
that's a tough card for anybody. Um, obviously, you can try to post switches, and he'll get more comfortable as he as he gets a little stronger. But just his versatility, um, length and size, of course, at the rim defensively, moves his feet better than I actually thought. But he's got a really good feel for um, you know that pick and roll, playing the two man game, um, and drop coverage. It's very difficult with a guy that size, and who of course can block shots late. Uh, Wes, uh, you guys fought hard tonight. Six guys in double figures. Um, how important is performances like this and trying to build a winning culture going forward? Well, I think it's one of those things you can look at. Um, those, those are some of those stackable moments. You know, you can pick out certain things about the game and, and really, you know, celebrate those. Um, obviously, there's a lot to teach from too, um, and that's kind of been the process all season. And we're not going to get too high or too low, but um, that balance of holding guys to a standard, you know, setting a, a level of accountability. Coaching, teaching, um, cleaning up at the same time. Um, when you're not getting results, it can't be um, doomsday after every loss. So we're not going to lose. We're not going to lose our enthusiasm just by results. We want to celebrate process, and of course, once we get to where get to where it needs to be, uh, I think it'll turn. Cruz, um, you guys uh, played pretty competitively with them, but were never quite able to close the gap. Uh, how, how did they kind of maintain that edge? Though? Uh, I mean, they just did a good job in the fourth quarter of um, exploiting mismatches and, um, you know, just uh, putting us in situations where we had to, you know, either help a lot or, um, um, you know, scramble. So, and they did a great job, you know. They, kn they know what they want to do on the court. And you mentioned after the last game how you guys had scored about 100 points a game the previous three tonight. You know, you broke out against a good defense. What was different offensively? Um, I think we we did a good job hitting shots. We went to the line 29 times. You know, playing OKC, they um, they're a team that have a lot of great length and good defenders, but they foul uh, a lot. Um, so we took advantage of that, and then um, you know we got downhill, made the right plays. So. Cruz, I know you're not one to take moral victories and things like that, but are there any positives you can take from a game like this against a good team that's on the rise? No. I mean, for me, no. Nah, not really. No, they scored 130. No, this is like routine, so. It, Kyle, in recent days, has there been more emphasis on defense in terms of game prep and, and in terms just – Planning for an opponent, like more focus on defense and less on offense in the in the run up to games. Uh, yeah, I you know the coaches they try to prepare us as much as they can. So, hey Kyle, um, the night crowd was loud. Um, try to get behind you guys. Does it pump you guys up when, when you hear the crowd get behind you guys? Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, anytime you know we can get fans to come into Cap One. Um, and they're loud is great. So, um, rebounding and defense have been kind of an issue this year. Um, what do you guys do from the players' perspective to try to shore that up? Uh, I mean, the, I think the biggest thing is um, you know boxing out. Um, you know, having our guards fly in, um, hit hitting somebody. You know, a lot of times we leave gap down there by himself. Um, you know, and just boxing out. That's the biggest thing for us. We don't. We're not the best at it. So, gotcha. yeah. What were your impressions of Chet Holmgren tonight? I mean, he's a beast. You know, he's he's a you know he's a really talented player. You know, he can do a lot of different things on the court. He's able to um, really eat off of um, the other talented players on his team. Um, you know, he can play within himself in the role that they have him in, and um, you know you'll see it. Like some some nights like tonight, he'll have thirty. Some nights he may have like sixteen and fourteen, eight blocks. So. Um, he does a, a great job <clears throat> at being so young, understanding the game, and um, you know, playing off of Shea, playing off of J Dub, uh, playing off of Gates, playmaking, passing. So, hey, Kuz, um, Bilal had a lot of possessions where he was guarding Shea tonight, and from what I saw, I thought he did really, really well defending Shea. Um, just from your perspective, what did you see from him defending different looks tonight? Uh. I mean, yeah, I mean, we held them to what is average. So, I mean, you can look at that a couple ways, you know. But, uh, 
you know, Bilal's getting better every game. Um, you know, he's he's doing a good job just being inquisitive, being a learner, being somebody that uh, wants to be a really good ball player. Um, you know, tough to get him some minutes, you know, from a lot of times, but, you know, that'll come, so. You rooting for your home state Wolverines tonight? Uh, yeah, they're up, right? So. Yeah, mm-hmm. Right in the <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you.